Hello and welcome to Juicy Full Tours, the game outside the game. I am Mohit Tarreja, your host for the show, and today's team analysis is on Team England, who are looking very strong and are one of the title contenders for the T20 World Cup. They won the title in 2010 and they were the finalists in the 2016 T20 World Cup. Therefore, they have the players, the quality of the players, uh, to perform on the bigger stage. Welcome, I am Anand Dushar. So today's team analysis is on Team England. the 2010 world cup winning team uh let's have a look at their 15 man squad jos butler their captain moin ali alex hales harry brook sam curran chris jordan liam livingston david malan adil rashid phil salt ben stokes reece topley chris fox mark wood and david willey so i mean what do you think about the positives of this england squad Well, the first positive is their batting lineup built with these explosive batsmen over there. I mean, look at the batsmen: Josh Butler, Alex Hales, Liam Livingston, Moin Ali, Ben Stokes. They're all very dangerous batsmen, especially in the T20 format. So, Shah, what do you think? Well, it's the same as Iman has said. They have explosive batting. All these players play in the T20 where they can play in the game changer. जैसे कि जॉस बटर भी हम ब्रेस्टो को हम थोड़ा ये मिस कर सकते हैं ओपनिंग में जॉस बटर के साथ लेकिन वो भी प्लेस फिल फिल कर देंगे कोई ना कोई प्लेयर डेविड मलन है सैम एलेक्स हेल्स है एलेक्स हेल्स है सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट एलेक्स हेल्स कमिंग इन द स्क्वाड आफ्टर 2 इयर्स आई थिंक ही इज अ टैलेंटेड प्लेयर एंड इट्स गुड टू सी हिम बैक इन नेशनल कलर्स आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम ही हैजंट बीन प्लेइंग फॉर द नेशनल टीम फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम नाउ एंड I think he's a extremely dangerous batsman. I mean, he was part of the 481 record in England. Played a huge part in it, and he can be he can be the dangerous dangerous player he was he always was. Leaving the positives aside, what do you think are the shortcomings for this England squad? Well, even though they have quality bowlers like Chris Wokes, Reece Topley, and even Mark Wood, they're good with the new ball, but they're still missing that death ball. That bowler, where Jofra Archer with his yorkers and bit of variation with his back of the hand slow ball was mm. impressive, but they do not have that death ball. I mean, Chris Jordan does ball at the death, but he's not very consistent, and he does leak runs most of the times in the death. So, so Dushar, what do you think? मुझे भी यही लग रहा है कि death ball में थोड़ा कमी है, थोड़ा उसको मैच कर सकते तो और बहुत बढ़िया टीम बन जाएगा इंग्लैंड. So Dushar, what do you think are the chances for this England squad? जैसे कि आपको पता है 2019 का वर्ल्ड कप वो जीते 50 ओवर्स का फॉर्मेट अच्छा मैच था न्यूजीलैंड के साथ और 2021 का मैच भी वो सेमीफाइनल में हार गए इस बार और और एक चांस है उनको ऑस्ट्रेलिया में जाके उनको हरा हरा के वर्ल्ड कप जीतना मुझे लगता है कि और प्लेयर्स को बहुत चांस है परफॉर्म करने के लिए अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म है जो फेस कर सकते हो उसका टैलेंट आई मैन वॉट यू थिंक अबाउट द सीन Well, I agree with most of the points, but also we have to look at the opportunities which have been given to some players. Like Harry Brook is a talented player in the count in county cricket, and mm-hmm. I think I hope he does. He performs at his best. Right now, his T Twenty stats are not that hot, but hopefully he'll get. And also Alex Hales, as you mentioned, yes. he can have, he can also establish himself in the national colours after a long time. and the threats which can arise in the tournament for them correct mujhe lagta hai ki thoda bowling mein thoda kami lag raha hai because of jofra archer mm-hmm. they are going to miss jofra mm-hmm. archer so what do you think i mean as he said about the weakness in the dead bowling and missing jofra archer but also a slight weakness in the batting is that even though livingston and moin ali are brilliant batsmen and dangerous they still stray away from playing that long innings I mean, they there's no one to steady the innings for them. No one to steady the innings in the squad. Mm. About ste- it's not about steadying the innings. It's they can play the natural game, but also in cricket, at some point you have to bring your national natural game till the end, end as well to make sure that the team is uh, reach is winning comfortably. And England being an attacking team, do you think will that help them in the tournament, or will that be a concern? मुझे लगता है टी ट्वेंटी में वैसा ही खेलना चाहिए अटैकिंग ही खेलना है hmm. थोड़ा स्टार्टिंग में थोड़ा छः ओवर आपको खेलना right. है उसके बाद में अटैकिंग ही खेलना है ओके एंड हु डू यू थिंक आर गोन बी द बिगेस्ट कम्पिटेटर्स और थ्रेट्स फॉर देम आई थिंक ऑस्ट्रेलिया इंग्लिश इंग्लिश टीम 
I mean, they but they are defending champions and they're, they're playing home. Is very strong and it's a they playing they play at home. Okay. So there will be a dangerous competition for India. तो शायद मुझे लगता है पाकिस्तान और इंडिया पाकिस्तान की ट्वेंटी में थोड़ा मुश्किल है हराना लेकिन नामुमकिन भी नहीं है इंडिया तो लगातार परफॉर्म कर रही है थोड़ा अभी एशिया कप में वगैरह थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम हो गया चलेगा लेकिन क्रिकेट में हो जाता है इंडिया और पाकिस्तान थोड़ा टफ कॉम्पिटेटर रहेगा इंग्लैंड के लिए सो वट आर योर प्रोडिक्शन फॉर द प्लेइंग इलेवन फॉर द स्कॉड माई प्लेइंग इलेवन इज जॉर्ज बटलाइनिंग्स Number five will be Moeen Ali. Number six will be Liam Livingston. Number seven Sam Curran. Number eight will be Adil Rashid. Number nine will be will be Chris Wokes. Number ten will be Reece Topley. And number eleven Mark Wood. So Tushar, who is gonna be in your playing eleven? मेरे में थोड़ा changes है जैसे कि Josh Butler आएगा, David Malan open करेंगे, Alex Hales, Livingston, Ben Stokes, Sam Curran. आदिल रशीद और क्रिस जॉर्डन क्रिस ओक्स मार्क वुड और डेविड विली ओके एंड हु डू यू थिंक आर गोना बी द टॉप 3 प्लेयर्स फॉर इंग्लैंड फॉर मी द टॉप टॉप 3 प्लेयर्स आर गोइंग टू बी जॉर्ज बटलर मोइन अली एंड डेविड मलान तो शायद फॉर यू मेरे में पहला है लिविंगस्टोन दैट्स इट बैटिंग और सैम करन और बेन स्टोक्स ओके So let's talk about the man from Ben Stokes as well as Liam Livingston. What do you think? How will they perform in the World Cup? I think that Livingston can play a good game because he puts the left arm for off spin and the right arm for leg spin. It's a little advantage for Livingston and he plays a big game. You can see in the IPL, you will see a shot from Shemika. He is standing. And Ben Stokes thinks that he can contribute a little bit for the team. batting or bowling sir i mean what do you think about them well to me i don't think liam livingston is a perfect all rounder i mean ben stokes is he can bowl tough overs he can bowl over 140 and he's a extremely good batsman liam livingston is a brilliant batsman and is a terrific finisher but on the bowling side is is not going to be a threat on these australian wickets Okay, and one last question. Uh, what do you think for the chances for the England squad in this World Cup? Are they going to lift the trophy or will they finish just top four? I think they can go to the final. England team is looking good for me. Okay, I mean? Well, you can't really say who is going to win the tournament. But I still think there are probable for the playoffs in the T20 World Cup. Uh, so thank you for coming on the show and giving your expert advice. and letting our viewers get an insight of the world cup thank you well that was a deep analysis of the team hope you all enjoyed the show stay tuned for the next episode please write down in the comment box on which team analysis would you want in the next episode signing out your host mohit reja